Okay, welcome to my tutorial about how to set up a second audio device. Uh, the reason that you want to do this is for streaming. Uh, right now, I don't have any other audio device installed. Uh, all my audio is going right through my speakers. Um, this is okay if you're just getting started streaming, but you know this is probably the first thing you should do. Audio quality is very important. So here's what you do. You want to start out by opening up your web browser, do a search for VB cable, here we go. Now there's multiple programs you can use on here. We're going to start off with VB cable technology. You just scroll right down here, it says VB cable driver donationware. And you can go ahead and click here to download it. Well, I've already downloaded it. So let's go ahead and open up the zip file. You can see that there's a number of files here, files here. So we're just going to extract them all. And then we're going to run the setup program. I'll use the X64 version. Go ahead and click install. Make sure you run it as administrator. So you can just right click on it and say run as administrator. And it tells us it wants us to restart, so we're going to do that. All right. So we're back now, our fully rebooted. We can just take a look at our playback devices. So now you see, in addition to our speakers, there's one called the cable input, would be virtual audio cable. Right now, it doesn't do anything. Let me show you what it does. So we're going to open up File Explorer, go to Downloads, and we'll play this nice music here. All right, so now I'm playing this music on my computer. You can hear it in the background. It's quite relaxing. But we don't always want people to hear it. You can see over here, I'm just checking my audio balance levels. So maybe we don't want to hear it. So we can go to audio audio device, cable input. Oh, well now we can't hear it anymore. But you can see over there on the right, it's playing on the audio device. But this is the opposite of what we want. Let me open up audio volume mixer. This is all my audio devices. We'll go ahead and click here. So you can see the system sound beep is playing. That's annoying. So we actually want it to be the opposite of what it is right now. So we'll go to OBS. And we're going to change our desktop audio device from default to cable input. And now you guys will be able to hear it where you couldn't that before. So yeah, switch it back to default. And now you can't hear it. And now, because you're hearing the virtual audio cable, when I go to the mixer and get some beeps, I'll hear them, but you won't. So this is almost what we want. The only problem is that I can't hear the audio. So let's go back to the cable input And we can actually we want to go to recording and go to cable output, go to properties, go to listen and listen to this device on your default playback device. And now I can hear the music and you guys can hear the music. So now we can open up other programs 
like Skype. Go to options, go to audio settings. So over here you can see that it's playing people's voices on speakers and ringing on the same speaker. Now I can set this to my normal speakers and then I can set this to cable input. And now only the stuff that I want to play on the virtual audio cable will be picked up by OBS. So let me give you an example. Let's stop this music. Let's go ahead and press this button here. You can hear it dinging, which ringing. I think. Can you actually? Yes, you can. So let's make a test call. And let's set this audio device back to default. Now I'm listening to the music. You can't hear it. We'll make a test call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. All right, so this is fantastic. And we can just go ahead and say end call here. So what that means is that the audio for Skype is completely contained inside of this virtual audio cable. So no matter what else you're doing on your computer, only the things you want people to hear on Skype, like this nice soothing music, will they hear. And it's actually possible to do this with multiple cable outputs. And that would let you for instance, play this music and record it on a separate track so that you can strip it out of your video slate if you didn't like it. So that's this tutorial. I hope.